Hey everyone, Ben Bailey here, back with another video on the Line 6 Helix LT, but this time focusing on getting a really cool blues guitar tone uh, out of your Helix. Um, I've boiled it down to what I think are the essential eight blocks, that means seven effects and one uh, amp simulation, to really nail a cool modern blues sound, something that's going to work really well in a mix with other instruments, um, which I'll demonstrate as well. I've got a backing track ready to go to show you guys that. That will be later on in this video. Um, I should also mention that everything being done here has been done uh, after the 2.60 firmware update. So if you haven't updated to that, there are probably going to be effects in here that you're not familiar with. So get that update and you'll have everything that I have right here and I'm about to show you. Um, and we'll uh, play to the backing track straight after that. So uh, let's get started. So I've gone ahead and created my blues preset in my Helix LT. Um, and I'm going with the approach of a clean amplifier and getting my drive from uh, other effects, other pedals. In this case, I've gone with the mail order twin uh, um, amp simulation here because I think it's got a really nice crystal clear sound when you bring up that presence as well. It, it can cut through a mix while staying really clean. Onto that, adding a spring reverb and then a bit of compression from the red squeeze compressor. All this should be popping up on screen for you so you can see all the settings and the specific um, uh, patches I'm using. And you should get a sound that's coming out like this. Clean, but bluesy and very dynamic. Really, really nice sound as far as kind of clean sounds go. Um, on top of that, I'm I've got here a uh, a booster which is acting because of the clean amp as kind of a clean boost. I've got the kinky boost right here. Let me turn that on. So if you want to stay clean and still bust out a solo, you've got that sort of thing going for you. And I've got two drives um, in case here. I've got firstly the uh, Minotaur drive, which gives just a little bit of fatness and that kind of... And when you pair that up with that boost, sounds quite... Quite a nice sound for blues, definitely if you're going for that kind of John Mayer vibe. Right here I've also got a, a Scream 808, which is kind of a Tube Screamer vibe. Again, um, just enough drive to kind of give you that kind of girth in the signal, not a distortion. <laughs> You can combine those if you want some more biting sound as well. Quite a nice sound and combined with a, a boost at any time for your solos. Well, something else I've done here is I've put the boost um, before the drives in the signal chain. So as much as when I'm playing clean, I can hit that boost and get a clean signal boost. Um, I'm also making sure that my booster can drive my distortion pedals more when I get into a solo. So it's not just a volume thing, but you get a, a slight tonal change. The last thing I have on the board here, last two things actually, I have a delay pedal uh, in here. 
with uh, just a stock standard uh, 440 milliseconds delay, which I find works with quite a lot of things. Just enough mix to be heard, but not so much that you get confused with guitar signals. And I also have the wah pedal hooked up, which I'll demonstrate when I play along with my track, because I'll have to put the pedal on the floor for that. But uh, let's move on and uh, play with the back and track that I made earlier and start switching around and see what you like. So now that we've created our pedal board, the Helix is back on the floor. I've created a uh, little back and track that I'm going to jam on, a little blues funk sort of thing to jam over. Um, while I'm playing, I'm just going to be switching between effects, but there'll be something up on screen that will tell you every time I change, so you'll always know exactly what I'm doing. Um, just to let you know, I'm recording into my Helix directly from my guitar, then straight out from that into a Scarlett 2i2 uh, interface. Um, that's going into Cubase, into the little track that I recorded, and you're not going to hear any post-processing on uh, what I recorded. It's going to be straight, exactly how it comes out of the Helix is what you're going to hear. Otherwise, I'd just be lying to you. So, uh, let's go.
So guys, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video and maybe learned something from it. Uh, if you like this sort of thing, I've got a few more videos like this on the channel. If you go ahead and subscribe to that, like this video, uh, comment. I'm always willing to hear what you've got to say and uh, we'll try my best to respond to uh, any input, any criticism, any anything that you have to offer. Uh, but thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in another video.